This is a robot arm that was sold uh, on the eBay's from China as a six degree of freedom arm. It really only had five because you can't count the pincer as a degree of freedom. So the center part has been modified to allow the elbow to rotate around 180 degrees, turning it into a six degree of freedom arm. The uh, claw mechanism is not exactly uh, top grade, but it will actually will pick things up. Rotating of the wrist, up down of the wrist, up down of the elbow, rotation of the elbow, up down of the entire arm, rotation of the entire arm, Arduino control using Ross Serial, had to use uh, very small topic names in order to fit it into the SRAM, just a little PWM output board. A uh, little bit power hungry, 7 volts. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see the green or not. At the moment, it's drawing an amp and a half. The motors in the arm are full metal geared, can run up to 7.4 volts. And this one, which probably cannot see from this angle, is running a, a full metal uh, disc to be contacted and bolted on. The other ones are still just using the plastic servo horns, which can be handy because they have enough torque to, to break those if you do the wrong thing with the arm. So at the moment the computer is thinking of moving to this new random position here and has come up with a 6 degree of freedom plan. This is just Arvez. Um, as you can see I've clicked plan, told it a random valid state. And now if I uh, tell it to execute that, it's wise to sit back a little bit when you're uh, executing a robotic move. And then I can uh, select another random valid position, plan, execute that move. A little bit of a funky position, but uh, got there nonetheless. Only drawing about 0.8 watts in this position. So a lot of fun to be had. Uh, robot arms are relatively affordable. Well, I've got this, which is a active Otix bracket. If you had a metal brake, you could make a similar thing. And uh, active Otix um, servo mount in there. But not a bad way to get almost the whole arm and uh, add in elbow rotation.